Hi, I'm Jamie Mallon, Certified Professional Ergonomist and Consultant here at Human Tech. And today I'm going to talk about the ergonomics maturity curve. The ergonomics maturity curve is a concept that Human Tech came up with during our benchmarking studies when we looked at Fortune 1000 companies and how they managed ergonomics. No matter what business process you're in charge of or involved with, you want to make sure that it is as effective as possible and as efficient as possible. I think we've all heard faster, better, cheaper, right? When we're talking about ergonomics, generally there are four approaches that people utilize. The first approach is reactive. It's not very effective and it's not very efficient. The primary reason is an incident has occurred, I investigate it after the injury has already happened, and then I correct the situation at that one workstation or where that incident actually happened. People realize it's not efficient, it's not effective, so they start to go on and look for other approaches. And that's when they start to do a preventive activities. Preventive activities are things like job matching, where I take a look at the work environment, I understand the physical requirements of that work environment, and then I find employees and workers who can do it. It's making people fit the job, basically. That one has its benefits and its merits, but people still want to wanna fix more. So we start to look at the proactive approach. The proactive approach is when we look at the workstation, the work environment, and we understand what risk factors are present in that work environment. We spend time analyzing them, we spend time prioritizing them against each other, and then we spend a lot of time correcting them, making the workplace better before injuries ever occur. That's a very good approach, but again, it's not quite as effective and efficient as we want to be. Truly effective and efficiency comes from when I'm advanced, or I have an advanced approach to my ergonomics process. That's where I engage manufacturing engineers and give them information, knowledge, so that they specify equipment and design work environments before a worker ever gets there with ergonomics in mind. I can also engage um, our, product, uh, sorry, our product engineers. And when I'm talking to our product engineers, what am I really talking to them about? I'm talking about how do I put this thing together? Is there a way to minimize forces, maximize clearances? Is there an order that I can put this product together that makes more sense from a biomechanic or a force requirement standpoint? When you look at these approaches, there, there, are, there is a dividing line. And that dividing line is right here. The most I can hope for out of these two activities is a reduction in musculoskeletal disorders. So this is really about MSD management. Okay? When I get to this other side of the line, the right side of this line, that's when I'm dealing with ergonomics. Ergonomics is about designing the workplace to fit the capabilities of the working population. When I do that, I guess I have an impact on injuries. People don't get hurt. But I also have huge benefits in productivity, that is that they can work more efficiently, and quality, that is that they deliver a better product. That's really what we're after. That's why it makes it very efficient and very effective. Over the next couple of weeks, take a little time and think about the approach that you use. Maybe you have elements of each of these in your ergonomics process. Maybe you favor one approach more heavily than the others. Think about it and ask yourself, is it possible for me to move up this curve? Next time I talk, we're going to talk about each of the activities that go into each of these approaches and the people that get involved. And that'll help you maybe divide a, devise a plan to move yourself up that curve. Look forward to talking to you again and take care of yourself.